off the cultural trail on the northeast side of downtown Indianapolis at the beginning of Mass Ave. Welcome to the Art Bank. That's right, a former bank, now a gallery. Hello, welcome to the Art Bank. Uh, I'm Stan Weddington, I'm one of the artists here. You are in the main lobby of the Art Bank. Here we are featuring uh, artists of many different styles in the many different rooms. And please have a look around. The Art Bank is a salon style gallery where art is displayed on nearly every available wall. It is home to over 30 artists, each with a different style interpreting diverse media. In a past life, it was the Mass Ave State Bank, operating as such until the 1990s. A software company moved in, leaving many of the bank features intact, such as the vault or the teller room. Once upon a time, rooms like the Exchequer Room would have been the site of loan negotiations. Now it is home to the oil, charcoal, and iPhoneography work of Tomas and Kathy Howie, respectively, and the photography of David Slivka. And next door, the board room. Hi, I'm Leo Ware, photographer here at the Art Bank. I like to take pictures of uh, oil and water, try to mix those and then work with software to try to make them pretty, artful. <laughs> and I share the room with Barbara Mangus Hopkins. She does the watercolor in this room. On to the collateral room, home to artists Jenna Michelow, Catherine Musser, and Mark Patrick. While artists are encouraged to exhibit in shows around the city and nationally, all can consider their wall at the art bank their home. Welcome to the Currency Room. My name is Levi Hadley. Here in the Currency Room, we have all styles of progressive art, ranging from sculpture to painting to photography. We are always creating new art, changing our art out, putting in new pieces of work here in the Currency Room. Back by our historic vault, our friends and patrons will find further use of every single space. A former panic room has been converted into a controlled lighting display for art. Our book nook in the vault operates as a branch of Book Mamas in Irvington and offers books either locally written or published or on local subject matter. Eighty years ago, it is alleged that Indianapolis native John Dillinger robbed the Mass Ave State Bank at this location. We honor our roots with our annual Robbing the Bank event in the fall, where music robs from art, robbing from poetry, robbing from art. Hi, my name is Barbara Haywood Chasey and I'm an exhibitor at the Art Bank. Uh, specifically, I exhibit my photography in the teller room. And as you can see, we have a wide variety of artwork in this room. Joining the Art Bank was probably one of the best things that I've ever done. Meeting the other artists, meeting people that come into the Art Bank has been uh, an exceptional experience for me. Continuing upstairs, we find the Gray Room Gallery and the Winstead Room. The Gray Room Gallery is a space for student art, operated by interns from local universities. The Winstead Room, named for one of the men that apprehended John Dillinger, is home to the epoxy pieces of Andrew Coling and the art of Rachel Illingworth, always evolving as she explores new themes and environments. The Art Bank is an IDOTA member gallery and a regular hotspot on the IDOTA First Friday Gallery Walk. We open the show of a different featured artist each month with music helping to set the scene. We've added a second Friday night of events, offering a quieter evening, a time to get to know the featured artist, as well as to support a featured charity chosen by the artist. Other artists will bring pieces to work on as demonstrations so that our friends and patrons can see firsthand just how we do what we do. Thank you for taking this tour of the Art Bank, and please continue to explore our website, including profiles of our artists, upcoming events, our hours of operation, and how to contact us. We look forward to sharing our art with you.